Hi and welcome to another installment of Shooting Star. This particular week we are going to discuss partnerships and what it looks like specifically as you run your business. Now I understand that it'll look different for many different businesses and people. I can only talk first person about how I work with JD and how it'll work, but I hope that you guys can extrapolate a few ideas or put into context how it might apply within your business. Now the first idea that I hold very dear to my heart is to have uh, outlined roles. Who's in charge of what and when. So as we get into the business, anything that's related to wedding photography itself, I am in control of. Now anything outside of that, now it can break down into JD takes care of the gear, JD takes care of printing out directions or making sure that the itinerary is ready, JD does all of our travel, JD does a lot of the planning for workshops and speaking events. Now, as you get into business with somebody else, whatever projects you are taking on or however you divide up the work, as long as those roles are clearly outlined. Now when it comes to shooting, I have outlined and we had a conversation about who will be the first photographer as we approach wedding days and that's a conversation that you should be having with your partner. Who is the first and when and how do you play to that so there's not a miscommunication. Two, play to your strengths. Now if Neither I like to do something or I don't feel like it's something that I'm really good at. And if JD feels the same way about a particular project, now these are far and few between, but we make sure that we outsource them. Because I think that it's better for us to focus on what our strengths are instead of trying to make something else work for the sake of saving a little bit of money but taking twice as much time. Three, review each other's work. I think that this is really important whenever you're working with a partner. Now, since the very first wedding, Whenever I cull the images, which means that I'm looking through all the images after the wedding day, I will sit down with JD and we go through his images and we talk about what he could do better for the next time. Now, a lot of times people think that this is unidirectional, but I have to say that in the years working together, a few months ago, JD, after I posted something on the blog, came upstairs and he just looked me in the face and he said, hey, what's going on? Why do you feel like you're not the same person as you were a few months ago? And I kind of got into explaining to him that I felt like I needed to explore a little bit of more about who I was as a photographer and how I post-process. But he called me out and he said, if you don't have a direction, if you don't have reasoning behind why you're making these strides, I don't know if it's playing to your advantage or playing to your strength. And he really called me the carpet and I had to be real with both who I was and where I wanted to go. So when it comes back to reviewing each other's work, having open communication, which is point number four. Open communication, it basically means if you can't be honest with your partner, or if your pa a partner can't be honest with you, then the relationship probably isn't that healthy, even if it comes with hurting your feelings. And I will say, when we have conversations about our work, I'm sure our feelings do get involved because we're artists and we're kind of tied to what we're doing. However, as long as it's done with respect, and respect can come in a myriad of forms. Basically, when I asked JD what respect looks like for him in working with a partnership on a wedding day, he said that it works best if I were to treat him as a second shooter as if it was the first time he was second shooting with me. It's to talk to him patiently, it's to talk to him efficaciously, and it's to talk to him with directives in kindness. And when I look at what respect is when we're dealing with um, a second shooter, I want to make sure that that second shooter is shooting the wedding like a first shooter. That that second shooter looks at that wedding and feels like it's his or her own. And to take ownership and to treat the guests as if they are his clients and to treat the bride and groom as if they're his or her bride and groom. And in that respect, I think that it would work very well for both parties involved. I hope a few of these tips help in outlining the roles in how you divide up your business structure and partnership. And if not, I will try again in a few weeks with another question. I hope you have this great week and stay fabulous.